this Houston heat ain't no joke. <gasps> it ain't no punk. When I tell y'all this weather been nasty all week long. Nasty, nasty weather. It's sprinkling right now. It's gray out. Like, it's just been like Houston. Y'all want to move to Houston because y'all think it's cool. It's a lot to do. This and that. You got to deal with nasty weather. You got to deal with raining, tropical storms, floods, hurricane season. Our, our weather sucks. Let me say that. Yeah, it's cool that we're hot 85, 90% of the year. 90% or more actually but um this all this rain this na these nasty wet this humidity like y'all don't want to have to deal with that move to Atlanta you're going to be dealing with the same thing the only thing about Atlanta is Atlanta actually gets cold like they got a cold season we don't <laughs> so but Atlanta rains and is nasty just like Houston they, they don't have our humidity but that rain ugh All right, y'all. So I am pulling up into the parking lot. Y'all look at these before. What are you doing, bro? I'm going that way. Oh, move the fuck. I don't understand why people just take up the whole street. Like, what are you doing? Okay, pull over. If you need to check your GPS, you're checking the text, whatever. Shit. Then probably get mad when I just beat my little horn at them. Anyway, look at my lashes so y'all can see the before. Sparse. They still don't look that bad though, but y'all know me. I need them full. I need them flapping in the wind. All right. These are the lashes. They're, I'm going to say they're fuller than normal, which is okay with me because in like three days, they're going to be like the perfect, perfect fullness look at this i don't even need no make i need to get these brows done because they literally looking like caterpillars going north south east and, east and west baby look at that a little lump child i really need to get my um eyebrows microbladed i have not had a microblade touch up in Ooh, oh has it been two no it ain't been two it may have been two years i want to say it's been two years when I got my, um, last time I went, this is how I equate it, y'all. Don't make fun of me, but this is how I remember. Okay, so last time I went to the DR to have surgery is when I, um, is when I initially got them done. That was in uh, early 2019. Then I got them touched up like six months later, still 2019, and I haven't been back since. Wow, because all of 2020 was C19, and then... 21 i haven't dang oh your girl is past due i know somebody's gonna say but genie you got nice eyebrows you don't need microblading yes my eyebrows are thick but microblading literally has it has your brows in a shape to where it's almost like you have on makeup like they're perfect just imagine waking up every day with your lashes on and your eyebrows microbladed you don't have to worry but if you have if you have decent skin, I was going to say, you know, I have, I guess, what's called decent skin. So, just having my eyebrows and my lashes is, that's it. That's all I need. But anyway, they look good. Y'all know I go to Lady Lash Studio. I absolutely love them. They do my facials as well. Love. Love them. Okay, I am headed to the mall now. I have a huge return for Zara. Huge. Um... And I'll probably skim through and look at a couple of things just to see if they put anything new out. Oh, excuse me. Y'all know that big sale is going on. So, just see if they put any new stuff out. Is that necessary? GT3? Ugh. Um... Uh, 
okay you get your little uh 15 seconds of pain anyway um got me all off sidetrack let me set y'all up on my little mat on my little mat that i love so much that camera ain't going nowhere i showed y'all this in my last ah, i love it but um ooh. i oh lord okay as i was saying after zara i have a five a bit a 4 30 massage so i'm really only gonna have about an hour at the mall maybe an hour and a half but um i'm hoping the mall is empty it's 2 20 on a thursday so i'm hoping it's not bad oh y'all i ran into two subbies two when i was getting my lashes done crazy crazy i'm just like just for me to be there and as soon as i came in i saw one subby i should have picked my camera up because i cannot remember her name it was like tashara to to something Ugh, i hate that I'm so, but hey girl if you're watching this um she went to my girl mary and got her lashes done and then once i go in the room and i lay down and i start getting my lashes done about 15 minutes into my service i hear somebody walk in and say hey yeah i want to get my lashes done um there's this youtuber i watch named gina janine who comes here and i want my lashes like hers y'all from just imagine me laying on the bed eyes taped shut I'm about 15, 20 minutes into my lash appointment and I hear that, like, that is such a, for one, it's such a small world. That's one. And then two, I'm just so flattered, first of all, that people, I didn't know that I had really many Houston followers. You know, everybody that usually talks to me the most is from out of state. I even got a lot of people out the country. So to see that people are right there in my area, and they're coming there on the strength of me. I just love that. I literally love that. Like, y'all don't know how bad. I was just smiling. Mary was laughing. <laughs> so, hey y'all, if y'all are watching. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I need to eat. Like I told y'all, it's almost 2.30 and all I have is coffee. So this is holding me over. I've had water today and I've had coffee. I haven't had anything else. Um, if I have time, I might eat at the mall. No, I ain't gonna eat at the mall. Cause the only thing I can eat at the mall is like Chick-fil-A, bourbon chicken. And I'm really trying to like stick to not eating that bad. I ain't saying that it's like healthy healthy because it's not. But I don't really want to eat that bad, so. That's the lot my stepdaddy work at Infinity. And I was trying to see. I, before I got this car, I had texted him first to see if he had any Range Rovers on his lot. And he said no. And I just drove by. And I seen like two, three Range Rovers parked in the front. But that was like a month ago. But anyway. Yeah, that was my stepdad. Him and my, I call him my stepdad. Him and my mom were married for 20 years. They got divorced in 2015, I want to say. Or 16. 15 or 16. Um, they got divorced and um, so yeah I just called him my stepdad he was the man who was around the most you know he was there when all three of my kids were born um, he used to drive me back and forth to school pick the kids up from daycare well Byron my oldest son pick him up from daycare and take me to daycare in the morning to drop him off and oh you know he was that was my stepdad and they were married for 20 years but um, so yeah uh, okay, I'm going to concentrate on driving. So I'm about to head out the mall. Um, I didn't bring y'all inside of Zara just because when I tell y'all it was packed, it was crazy packed. And I don't want to be the lady in there with the camera. So anyway, I did my return. I didn't find anything else that I liked. But I did find some perfume at Sephora. So I found some um, Gucci Bloom perfume. Let me show y'all the bottle. This is the bottle. It's the red, it's the red Gucci Bloom perfume. So I got the um 
the smaller size, the 1.6, just because I got enough perfume that I don't need no huge bottles of perfume unless it's like a crazy, crazy deal. Last huge bottle of perfume that I bought was from the CCO. And I think I got it nearly, not 50% off, but like, it, no, it may have been 50% off from the CCO, my um, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, so. But yeah, I'm kind of walking fast out of breath because my massage lady will be at my house in an hour. And I still need to grab something to eat because I have not eaten nothing all day long. So I'm like rushing, hungry, and people are staring at me. So I'm gonna put y'all down for a second. What do y'all think about the Lady Dior bag? I've been wanting a nude one, but they're so expensive. They're, they're as expensive as Chanel. <laughs> That ain't even a bag, that's like a joke. But that necklace is so pretty. Okay. Excuse me, sorry. I've just been waiting for a while, no one's come yet. Yeah, this hair is bothering me. It is like, I don't know, it's bothering me. Like it doesn't just lay back behind my shoulder, I don't know. It just doesn't lay back nicely behind my shoulders. Ooh, here come this rain. Um, so I was going to go in Dior and just take a look at um, their handbags. I've never held the Lady Dior in my hand. So I wanted to just see, you know, I guess it wasn't meant for me because the chick was standing back there behind the, behind the door, but I could see her. Me and another lady were waiting and there was a rope up. Of course, all of our luxury stores have ropes up. They only take you in like one by one. But, um... I'm like, she could have at least said, hey, we're not open right now, or I'm by myself, so I can't let any guests in, or something. Like, she literally just stood there, saw us, and she was, like, texting on her phones. I don't know what was going on. So me and the lady just walked away, and I just said, okay, maybe I didn't need it, because I probably would have maybe spent some unnecessary money. Anyway, I'm at, um, I'm at Starbucks right now. Yeah, I'm at Starbucks right now about to order something. Not about to order something. Yeah, my whole mind is discombobulated. I'm about to get my sandwich. I already ordered something. <laughs> Come get me a sandwich. Hello. Hey, you All righty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good one. All right, you too. Bye-bye. that cool down for a minute and tear it up guys if you are trying to eat healthy i know this is not healthy this is a um um a chicken panini um but if you're on the go and you're gonna need to like eat something and like eat in your car something handheld jack in the box has a very low calorie healthy fast food item it's their pita they have a chicken pita and literally all that comes on it is chicken and vegetables so that's one thing but there's no jack-in-the-box over here i'm not about to put in my gps to try to find one starbucks is right there because i gotta make it home in time and get comfortable and i like to wipe myself down and stuff before the um the lady massages me so i ain't had time for that so this is my alternative is the chicken Ooh, they put a lot of meat on that thing. Okay, when that cools down, that's going to be good. That's extremely too hot right now. Y'all, I keep smelling this Gucci um, Ambrosia on my wrist. I don't know if it focused last time when I was trying to show y'all in the mall. But it's the Gucci Bloom Ambrosia De Flora. I feel like it smells like this limited edition Burberry perfume that I have. I need to go home and smell it. I, I, I'm like, I've smelled this before and I love the way it smells. But I think it's that perfume that I have at home. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to spray it. I'm not even going to open this one up until I spray it and compare. Because it's still a lot on my wrist. So I ain't in the... I'll do a return with the quickness. I ain't trying to have two fragrances that smell just alike. I can go spend that little coin... That was, like I said, that was 150, like 120 with tax. Um, no, nah, that was over 120 with tax. It was $115. Anyway, I got to look at my receipt. But it was over $120. And I will, can put that towards something um, that I ain't got. So. 
Okay, I'm back home. So when I was telling y'all about the perfume that smells just like the Gucci, from what in my mind, it's this one. It's called Burberry Brit Red. It was a limited edition fragrance that came out a few years ago. And yeah, I think I found it like a TJ Maxx or something. So let me spray it. I haven't worn this in forever. I think, hold on. Let me get that smell out my nose. <clears throat> Like more sweeter and actually I've had this for so long the fragrance has kind of like changed on it okay they're different they're 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 similar but they're different so I'll keep it the ladies in there have me smelling all the Tom Fords and I'm like well back it on up hold on let, let me go to the CCO and see if they have this Tom Ford in there first. Then I'll come back and spend money with y'all. Not right now. This smells good. I need to wear this so I could, I need to finish this bottle out. It ain't that much really left in here. About a fourth maybe? A third or a fourth? Yeah, cause that's one of my older perfumes. And if y'all didn't know, perfume does expire. I don't know how soon it expires, but it, I just know it expires. Yay, new to my collection. Okay, y'all, tell me if I'm weird. I think I am probably the weird person. Okay, so I have two fragrances in my collection that are like my oldest perfumes. And when I say old, like I've had them for a few years. I wanna say I've had this perfume maybe for four years. And I've had this perfume, y'all don't laugh at me. I've had this perfume maybe for like six or seven years. So I'm like, this is what I've been wearing like a lot to bed. Like I've been wearing this to bed a lot because I want to like hurry up and use it up because I feel like, not I feel like, I know it's expired. I know it's way past its good time. I feel like the fragrance has changed on it a little bit. It still smells very good, but I just kind of want to use it up. Or do y'all think I should just throw them away or just give them to Ashton to play with? Because she be spraying herself with body splash, but she don't. You know, I'm not gonna buy her no expensive perfume or anything, so maybe I should just give them to the Ashton. That's what I think. Hey. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get started on this second drop of wigs. Lord Jesus, I think it's about like 35, 36 wigs in here. So I'm gonna try to get at least 15 listed. This takes a long time listing on Poshmark, but I'm watching Lamont at large, kind of like a creepy show. Like he's a YouTuber, but it's kind of creepy. It don't look like it, but he is. That's Lamont at large. But uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and get started, y'all. I just had my massage. I feel so good. I feel like rejuvenated. I'm a little sleepy. I think it's because of the weather. It's been literally raining the entire day, but I feel good after having that massage. So. I need to get some work done. Um, I want my room to get clean again, so I need to, and I need and I need some money, so I need to list this stuff. Let me get my little coin, so I'll be back. Let me let me get to put this work in. It's my dude Kobe, aka you, Lakers basketball player. So I'm gonna show you the reference. Yeah, my iPhone. This was the reference picture right here. You can see. Um, no tracing, no nothing. I just had to do it by myself. It was hard. It took a couple of, a while, but this is what it looks like. Let's see. Get closer. Ooh, good job, baby. And then I have to color it. You did really, really good. Let's see when it's called color. Okay. Good job. Your drawing skills are going up. I'm supposed to turn it off. Like when I did that, then then when then when I come back, I do that, and then it's all colored up. No, because I'm about to film some more. I'm about to film some other stuff. Well, then when I put it close to the camera, um, delete that part, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I have made huge progress. This whole laundry basket is full of full of wigs. So the wig sale is about to start in just a moment. I got one, two, three, four more wigs to list. Then the wig sale is going to start. I'm watching Susu. 
I like her. I've been watching her for a long time now. She does vlogging, fashion, sit down, talk, stuff like that. So, but yeah, y'all, your girl is tired and hungry. It's nine o'clock, and I think I started about two or three hours ago. And yes, I don't have a wig on because I've been trying all these wigs on. As, as I take them out the package, I'm like, oh, this is cute. I want this. Oh, this is cute. I want this. So I've been trying wigs on. I haven't taken one yet, though. I haven't. Even though they've been looking cute. I'm like, I can't. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Jen, you cannot hoard wigs. Good morning. Happy Friday. I've been up, y'all. Don't think that I just be sleeping till noon because I don't. I've I've been up. I just lay back down. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has been raining all night, all morning. When it's like this, raining, nasty outside, I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> it ain't nothing for me to do, but my housekeeper is going to be here in about an hour. And I don't really like to be here while they clean. You know, so, cause I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm kind of, I'm it, like me being here, it might slow them down or it seems like I'm watching them or whatever. I, I trust them. They've been cleaning my house since my other house. So, but, uh, yeah, so I think I'm about to, um, get myself together before they get here. So I can go run some errands, but it is so nasty. It's it. Mm -hmm. Just not even leave the house. Maybe, maybe this should be one of them times where I stay home. Oh, child, I forgot to take my um. My birth control this morning. Not like anybody getting the goods. Not like I can even get pregnant at this point because uh it would be a divine interaction from god himself but we're still gonna take that thing because you just never know yes i stuck my head underneath the sink and got my little shot of water uh, took my gummy vitamins took my birth control even though it ain't nothing to control because this thing probably about dusty and rusty about at this point let me brush my teeth have y'all tried this black um hello toothpaste yet it is so good y'all your mouth gonna be black i mean yeah and you gotta make sure you rinse really really good but this is some really good toothpaste. I don't really like the, the consistency of it. It's kind of, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's real, it's like thin. It ain't gonna drip off your toothbrush, but it's a thin consistency. It ain't like the uh, your normal Colgate. I love that toothpaste. They also have the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, mouthwatch. Ethan and Ashton! Why am I even opening these blinds? Not like it's letting no extra light in. It's so damn dark and ugly outside. Let me see what I'm about to wear and do this hair. Let me see what I'm about to wear and do this hair. I made a little rhyme actually know which hair I'm about to do because we have a hair sponsor today guys today's hair sponsor is beauty forever hair and look at all these goodies they sent in this box y'all know I work with beauty forever hair a lot so we are reviewing a headband wig today yes I know another headband wig it seems like I've been reviewing a lot recently but I think all these companies are really trying to promote headband wigs right now I don't know, they're good, they good for the shoots in summer weather. You ain't got to lay nothing down. If you sweat and your legs start popping up, you ain't going to know what a headband wig. So, they give you a satin bag to keep your unit in. They give you this little uh, wig cap, a headband, and one, two, 
three, four, five extra headbands. Some of them are cloth and then one is this bedazzled one, jeweled. And then this is how your unit comes packaged. Oh, and another headband on the inside. So I'm about to show you guys how this looks on my head. I'm going to put a little curl in it. You can wear it just straight out the box, but I always like to put a little curl in mine. So if you want to see how it looks on your girl, how I style it, keep on watching. this is the final look of this unit like I said it is a headband unit it comes with a bunch of headbands which is amazing but I decided to put my Louis Vuitton scarf around it yeah I know cuz I be trying to be like a little fake bougie or whatever but uh, this is how the curls turned out I'm just gonna break them up just because we're not going for that uniform curl look Ooh, this side came out perfect let me recurl a little bit of this side extra little curl right here real quick okay, I just put a little extra little curl in there so this unit curled really easily as you guys saw you could have wanted just how it was straight out the package if you literally wanted just that grab and go hair it had a nice little wave pattern to it you don't even have to put a headband on if you don't want to it already comes with that black I don't know if you guys can see now but it comes with that black headband already attached to it usually what I do if I want just that black look I just put another black headband on top of it but today since we are about to go out run some errands I did put my Louis Vuitton scarf on but the hair is really thick it's pretty the color I think complements my skin tone it would probably pretty much go with I don't know any skin tone really this is the length on me this is 24 inches all the details will be down below in the description box but let me just show you guys where it hits me because I am 5'9 so this is where it comes on me curled just right to the chest if you wanted to make it just bone straight it probably would come pretty close to the waist but yep yeah, this is the length on your girl um, I really, I, I love a headband wig. If you ain't know by now, now you know. Headband wigs is just so easy because I, I don't have to worry about no lace. I don't have to worry about anything. Just my baby hairs and really you don't even have to have baby hairs out if you didn't want to. I just do it because I have a big forehead so anything to kind of camouflage away from the big forehead, the shine, all that, then I'm definitely going to do it. But the hair is cute. I love it self-explanatory i think it looks good it's cute and youthful you guys can even jazz it up by putting it in a ponytail in a bun some girls do like the half up half down like they'll pull it up and then you can kind of wear it they'll pull it up like that and then you can just kind of wear it half up half down whatever you want to do i'm simple so i always wear mine down or i pull it back in kind of like a, a messy bun but yeah and thank you and i just want to say thank you so much to beauty forever hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video if you are interested in this unit or any other units that they have because they do have full lace units they have bundles they have headband wigs of course long straight kinky curly body wave whatever you want they have it on their website check down below in the description box for a coupon and links to everything that you guys need mm -hmm. yeah girl let me pick out an outfit She looks cute. It's gonna rain on my head. Can y'all hear that rain? Let, let me get by my window. Let's see. But I know y'all can hear that. It has rained the entire week. It's Friday. And baby, it's rained every day. Thank God I ain't got no life. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Let me not say I ain't got no life. Your girl still healing up. But thankfully, I ain't had no plans for the week because it would have been ruined by this nasty-ass Houston weather. 
Okay, this is what I think I'm going to wear. Little she in. Is it she in? It sure is. This is she in. Little sweatpants, little crop, jean jacket. I need to wear some sneakers because it is rain. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might get my toes done today, y'all. I think I've been saying that for like the past week or two. But I think I might actually bite the bullet and do it today. And my eyebrows are looking like mustaches. Hello. Who is this? It's probably my realtor. Yeah. We were supposed to go look at three houses today. And one of them got a contract put on it. Another one, the landlord doesn't want to show it because the renters that are currently in it are currently packing. And then the third one, the landlord is saying he doesn't think today is a good day or she doesn't think today is a good day. So I'm like, that's down the drain. So I'm thinking that y'all don't know what we're going to do. And my stomach is bubbling. Oh, I got to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. I think it's just like nervousness, like because I'm about to move. It's... <sighs> let, me, let, me, let, let, me, let me do what I got to do. Okay, y'all, this is what I'm wearing. This is that Shein cropped sweatsuit. Y'all know me. A denim jacket goes with everything. No matter if it's a dress, if it's a leggings, a sweatsuit, it don't matter. I, I put on a jean jacket with everything. And there was a meme going around last week that says, every girl has that one denim jacket that they wear with everything. So many of y'all sent that to my DM on Instagram. I'm like, my besties just know me so well. But anyway, this is the um, crop denim jacket that I'm wearing. I got this one from Forever 21. I don't wear it that much just because it's not one of my favorites. But I think the light denim color does with this. So, what y'all think? And I also really don't. I'm not a fan of these pockets. They actually, it literally looks like the back of some jeans. I don't know. Maybe it gives a little bit of character or whatever. But I barely ever wear this jacket. It does. It looks like jeans. That's what it is. Because look, it has belt loops here and everything. So... But anyway, with my bag, these are the shoes that I'm bringing. Didi's discount special. There's some dupe um, Valentino. You know, Valentino is known for these big spikes on all of their bags and shoes. So $9.99 at Didi's. So this is the outfit. I'm probably going to start off with sneakers, though, just because it's raining. But y'all, when I tell y'all the rain has picked up so much that I don't even know if we're going to be going. It's one o'clock. My maid has not, sorry, let me not say maid. Y'all gonna chew my head off. My housekeepers have not made it in yet. Um, probably because of the weather. Houston floods so easily. She texted me last night, said that she'll come be here after 12. So maybe she's still working on another house. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, I told the kids, we're just gonna sit and wait until they get here to let the rain calm down some and then we'll go but it did the rain has picked up significantly i don't know if y'all can hear it still but um y'all should know being by now i have ptsd from when i got caught in that flood my car flooded and we had to jump out and the water was up to my kid's chest so i don't i don't fool with houston rain anymore especially because we flood ridiculously so i think i'm about to make me some oatmeal real quick or a smoothie probably a smoothie mm. I don't know. I'm about to make me something. I need to put something on my stomach, especially because I just, I took some vitamins and I had to take my, um, my, um, antifungal, that toenail medicine. But y'all, these are the vitamins that I've been taking. They're, are they like halfway gone already? I've been taking them for a while now, but I will have a full review on these. They are hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And I feel like it's making my toenail grow quicker honestly too unless i'm crazy it's been growing fast since i've been taking those but we'll see i'm gonna give you guys a whole review on them a little bit later on down the line uh let me put some in my stomach okay i'm back i didn't even get to eat anything i made some oatmeal like 20 minutes ago and for some reason it never thickened up and i maybe it's because i put too much almond milk in it I don't know, but my uh, housekeepers just got here, so I'm just gonna have to eat on the run. I'm wearing Burberry Brit Red. Mm-hmm. You want some, Mama? Mm -hmm. I already sprayed you with something else, but you can have some more. 
There you go. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. You okay? So. Ugh. It's so what? It's a little so strong. It's for a grown woman. Grown woman smell. <laughs> you know what it smells like? What? A lady. A lady? Old lady. It smells like a. Girl, this don't smell like no old lady. It does. She is so extra and she is lying to y'all. Wow, Ashton. Y'all don't get that, you know. Really? this in green and black that I got from Shein. Oh my God, I hope I don't get copyright. But anyway, three piece set. It's a little bit higher than what I would have expected to pay, but this fits so good. It's $23. I'm gonna just show y'all when I get home because I got it in my basket, y'all. Also guys, Dee Dee's has really good candles for that. cheap. I know a lot of things I wanna try on. This one smells really, really good. But I don't need it, even though it's a good price. I do not need it. They have a whole bunch over here, too. They have a ton. This one smells good, also. Y'all, it's literally the same jacket that I'm wearing. Y'all see that? It has the pockets, then the little denim, like, blue jean jacket, um, blue jean waist thing. Literally the same. I paid 30 for mine, $11.99 here. Ooh, I love coming home to a clean house. I've never seen a house so clean. It smells so good. Ooh, my counters are shiny. Oh, sure. My couches. Oh, yes. Now we can't get it dirty until the next week. Uh, repeat yourself again, because I got it on camera. Now can't get it dirty. At least let it stay clean for a week. Little people. Thank you. Shoo. Let's see my room. Ooh, Ooh it smells so good in here. Ooh, yeah, it does. It does. Yes. i never seen your room so clean like this. Mm. Guys, one thing. One thing for self-care luxury convenience invest in housekeeping not daily not weekly that's like for the rich bougie folks Ooh, mom, at least once at least once a month at least once a month do that for yourself it's just it feels so good to just come home to a spotless house that smells amazing and all you had to do was just pay somebody to do it of course, keep it clean for yourself in between, but this is like, ugh, this is, this is self-care. It, it really is, and it's good for your mental health, too. It's worth it. My lady is amazing. If you're in the Houston area, I can recommend her to y'all. She is, she great. I trust her. Y'all know I got a lot of expensive shit in my house. <laughs> and like, you know, like jewelry and purses and shoes and stuff like that. Don't never have an issue with her. Very sweet, very nice, professional, speaks perfect English, text. She lets me pay her through uh, Zelle, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me see, I, let me see. It's clean. The maid is smart, she used some. Why are you gonna be quiet, be quiet, be quiet? Let me just come up there, let me come up there. All right, I have eye clothes, cause like last, last night it was so dirty. Child, they make me want to walk upstairs and I do not feel like it. I'm going to though, but I don't feel like it. My filming room, even though I never... Ethan, here's your hoverboard. Your hoverboard's in my filming room. Oh! I don't remember putting it 
here. I don't remember you putting it there either. It needs to be charged. I know it ain't been charged in weeks, probably. And your um, the charger's on the stairs. Okay. Walking up these stairs. Even though these knees don't agree with it. I'm doing it. Uh, it kind of looks the same, though, because I cleaned it yesterday. Oh, the bathroom looks the same because you cleaned it yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Mom, what was Ethan saying was cool? The maid did what? Like, so I ate my cotton candy, and so she made a reusable about putting our pencils in here. Oh, that is smart. Oh, and your markers can go in there? Yeah, can go in there. That's smart. Yep. Mom okay. Ethan's room. All right. What is all this junk on your dresser? What is all this stuff? Oh if you don't need that stuff, throw it away. Let's see the bathroom. All right, bathroom looking good. What is this red stain? Nail polish. Gotta be, cause it ain't coming off. Okay. Last room, Ashton's room. No Can I enter? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Well, the maid is so so smart. She, you know the things for my markers. She can put. All can right. Put stuff in here. Mom, the maid is so smart. She, for it's, the markers, like the top of our markers, you can put stuff in here, like a pencil thing. Oh, that is smart. That's real smart. But our maids are good. Like this. One. Yep. She did. They do an excellent job. They're so nice. Yeah, they're very nice. Okay, y'all, I'm headed back downstairs. I'm tired. I got that itis. I'm about to lay down, okay? Okay. okay. My feet hurt. What does the itis mean? Itis means after you eat a big meal, you get sleepy. Mm -hmm. Called nigga itis. Nigga itis <laughs> <laughs> is when you eat a big meal and get sleepy. But at instead least of, I instead least of saying say that full word, we say the itis. We got the itis. So you I can say the itis, but you can't say the other one. <laughs> the bad word. Yeah, don't say that. Okay. okay. Mommy, say it again. Like the one with the N word. Just hate to say it. Nigga itis. If you're white and you watch my mom, don't say that. That's disrespectful. Yeah, only black people are supposed to say it. So, yeah. It's really a bad word. Shouldn't nobody, really nobody should say it. Honestly. But it's stuck in my vocabulary. It's really not a good word to say. Yes, correct. People of African descent, black people, are the only ones who are allowed to say it. But, but, it really nobody should say it, honestly. Why? It's a black because word. Because it, it, yeah, baby, when you get older, I could, do, I could explain it to you better. But it came from a negative word. It's a slang of a different, of another word, Okay. I know you're confused. You'll, you'll understand one day. Slang. <laughs> Even just small details like that. Just, you know, makes your bathroom feel like, like a hotel bathroom. You know, I just, she just does so good. Hi. <laughs> yes. Question. Does the toilet paper supposed to go over or under? I prefer it under. So usually after I come home, after my house is cleaned, I take that off and I switch it around. Which one, guys? Does the toilet paper roll go over or under? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Just little details like this. Just my paper towel. Just a little fan on top of it. You know, Dad. it's just these little tiny touches that make it just... <sighs> I love it. And look what mommy got for our dog at our dad's house. Good morning, it's Saturday. I just got dressed. I'm about to take Ashton to her um, basketball game. I'm just wearing literally just like a little legging set. These leggings are the old style Forever 21 leggings that I don't know why they switched the formula up, but they had the perfect mid-size waistband. Then this gray shirt I got from Target for $5 and it matches perfectly. My Zara crop jacket and then a headband wig with a gray headband. This gray headband is from Forever 21 too. So this is the look. I'm about to do Ashton's hair and then make me some coffee because I only had about six hours of sleep last night and then we're going to get to rolling. Say what's up. I only had eight Say what's hours. up, basketball star. What's up? Eight hours. Yeah. That's good for you. Well, now, look, here, need about 10. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I wish I had 10. The game was good. My baby's team won. Oh man, there's a kid on that team who is a star. Like he's literally a star. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna say just because um, she's my daughter, but Ashton is literally the best defense on that team. Ashton is a beast with the defense. Then it's another kid who is a beast with the shooting. Them two, <laughs> they literally carry the entire team. There are, don't get me wrong, there's other really good players on the team, but those two are like the ones where it's just like, dang, like, you know, like stars. But, um, so the kids are gone. As you can see, the back seat is empty. They're with, they're staying there with their dad because their dad is like, y'all know how Drake is at all the games? He tried to act like a little sideline coach. That's their dad. So they asked him, can he coach the next game? Because one of their one or two of their coaches is out for some reason. So they asked him, can he coach the next game? So he told him, yeah. So the kids are um, staying with him. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, I got a little bit of free time, about an hour, hour and a half. Oh, it's 11 a.m. and the next game is at 1230. I actually got a lot of time actually it's crazy um so i'm about to just go run some errands boy i'm so pissed dds dds that three piece set that i bought why one of the pieces was a small so i'm annoyed that i have to go back to dds i'm not going to the same dds just because well, maybe i should should i go to the same dds I'm saying that maybe I'm not going to go back to the same DDs because that was the only large. Everything else was smalls and mediums. I was thinking about just going to a different DDs if they have the whole set in a large, just return that one and um, just pick up a whole nother set instead of going and telling them, hey, y'all sold me two large pieces and one small piece. Like, I just don't see what that would actually do they would refund me my money but I want the set like I really want the set if I can't find it anywhere else then I'll probably go back to that DD's and let them know and see if they can like refund me some type of a discount even if it's 10 15 percent like that's a whole piece it's three piece set whole pieces anyway um I also needed to go to Dollar Tree yeah we'll see what's up We'll see what's up. Y'all, I am just leaving from Dee Dee's. I didn't bring y'all inside just because I knew I just wanted to run in, see if they had this set and come back out and go to another Dee Dee's, which they didn't, unfortunately. But I am so excited, y'all. Look! Look what I found. Y'all aren't going to care, but this curling iron this curling iron right here i have literally had this same curling iron at home for ashton's eight at least eight years at least and i found it again in dds y'all on clearance for 9.99 this is the best curling iron this curling iron right here hot tools I'm excited and I did meet a subby inside hey Natasha girl <laughs> she didn't want to be on camera which is totally fine I totally understand but she was so sweet she was so sweet I love meeting y'all and I love when y'all walk up to me and speak to me because there's so many times where subbies will see me out somewhere and then they'll either write in the comment section that they saw me and they were either scared to talk to me or they thought, you know, they just didn't feel comfortable coming up to me or they'll DM me and tell me the same thing. And I'm like, I'm cool. Like, y'all can walk up to me. Like, I'm regular, regular, smegular. Like, I'll never. I was talked to everybody. How y'all see me on camera? That's how I am in person. So, just know for future reference, if y'all ever see me out, stop me, speak or that 
So I'm about to head to another DD's. Dee I'm not doing a DD's Dee tour today. I ain't going all around Houston doing a DD's Dee tour. I usually like doing that, doing that during the week, not on a Saturday. I might go to one or two other DD's Dee and then that's it, I'm done. Um, I need to get something to eat. All I've had is this coffee. I can't believe it's only 11.22. Maybe I'll try to eat by like noon, 12.30, something like that. Walking into my third Dee Dee's. And when I tell you guys, it's hot than motherfucker, and I got this damn jacket on. <sighs> I still got a little bit of bruises left on my arm, but I'd probably still be wearing it even if I didn't have that. <laughs> But yeah, my third DDs. I plan on being in and out and going home. My stomach is kind of bubbling from all that coffee, so I need to make this shit quick. <laughs> oh, these are cute. I do not need any more white sandals, but oh my God, these are cute. These are cute too. These are, um, y'all know, Valentino, um, not knockoffs, but replica. Dupes, dupes, that's the name, a dupe. These are Valentino dupes because of the bow. These are so cute. I wish they had my size. Look how much are these? $6.99. Oh, well. Y'all already know. Candle section. I saw this. I've never seen this kind of smudge before. It's a cedar smudge. I feel like it's going to smell like a Christmas tree and I don't know why. Have y'all tried this one? That's a good price. I swear I find some of the coolest stuff in Dee Dee's. Look at this. I have no use for it, but I still think that's cool. Y'all, Dee Dee's has American Apparel High Rise Denim. If y'all remember these, these, this was the first company that made these high rise denim and look how much they cost, $7.99. And on the website, on the website, they were like $60 back in the day. I'm in line already, so I'm not going to go check and see if they have my size, but I just want to show y'all. Crazy. Wow. Ooh, child. This Houston heat ain't no joke. It ain't no punk. When I tell y'all I found so much stuff, I officially started back to school shopping for the kids. So I picked up a few things. I also picked up a couple of little summer items as well. But um, yep, about Ethan, a few t-shirts for back to school. I'm not, I am not waiting for that two weekends before school starts. I do little by little so I can let my coin stretch. And that's how we do that. That's how I do it every year, even with like Christmas shopping. I start like a month in advance by little by little. Last year I didn't, cause some cause of um, C19 I didn't, but um, I usually start like a month in advance. But y'all, y'all know I love these wafers. They sell them at Dee Dee's and they're only $3.99. So I've tried the chocolate, the hazelnut, vanilla, and lemon. The best two so far are the vanilla and lemon. Can't nothing compare to those. The worst is the chocolate. But um, I found strawberry. So we about to test it out. Ooh, it's hot, baby. It's hot. What my dash say? My dash say 97. Let's see what this strawberry hitting for. Damn, they had all of them. They all broke. Hold on. I'm scared to taste this. Why does it smell like that? It don't stink, but it don't smell right. Expires April 2022. Okay. They're good. Okay. Yeah. Strawberry good. Okay. 
So if y'all find these, get them. I don't know about no other uh, name brand, but this Pure Line. Yeah, Pure Line. Good. Strawberry, vanilla, or lemon, you can't go wrong. That chocolate, that hazelnut, you decide to get it, girl, that's you on your own with that. I didn't warn, I didn't warn you. Even Ashton doesn't like it. Ashton, um, that girl loves chocolate. And she didn't even like them. Okay, so they did not have my um, that three-piece set at this Dee Dee's, unfortunately. So I do have to go to the one that's right by my house. But I need to eat something. That little strawberry wafer is the first thing I've had to eat today. Ooh, Church's has a new chicken sandwich. I do not fool with Church's chicken at all, but I'll eat their tenders. Okay, we're home. I done took my clothes off. I just feel hot and sticky. I really need to take a shower. But um, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got. I'm not going to show you the uh, Ethan stuff. It's just like a couple little summer sets and then a few um, school t-shirts. Ethan! Ethan! Come get your stuff! And then these two Nike shirts. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all the new stuff that I got. Over there is the two um, sets that I got yesterday. Um, I did not find another large, but I did go ahead and pick up a medium set. Let me show you guys a little bit up close. I'm not gonna try these on on camera just because I don't feel like doing a try on haul. They just take forever. I'm going to try this stuff on off camera, but just showing you guys, it's just too much. So this is how the three piece set looks. These are the leggings. It's a cropped jacket that comes with it. And then the sports bra. So I picked it up in a medium. All three pieces of medium. They have the same size this time. So I'm going to try that on. And then I also have the large that I bought yesterday. I never tried it on. Uh, so we shall see. But either way it goes, that small bra is going back. Um, yeah, I might got to do a little something janky. But <laughs> baby, that small bra is going back. So I will be trying that on off camera. This is all the new stuff that I got. Let me show you guys. Um, I just bought some powder. This looks like my exact color. It has a little bit of yellow undertone to it. I don't, you guys probably can't even see. But the color looks good. It's called Deep Like Me. Y'all excuse um, the kids screaming. They sound insane. Then I just got this for my bathroom, which is um, a diffuser. This was $4.99. Oh, and these makeups were $2.49 each. Then I showed y'all this, the Hot Tools Curling Iron. Let me go in here and show y'all my old one. Y'all gonna see this old faithful. I really do, I, I think I'm still gonna keep her because I just love it so much. But this is my old curling iron that I've literally had for like eight or nine years, possibly longer. You can see it's all melted right there. The handle is disgusting. But guys, when I tell you this, <laughs> this curling iron is so good. So anyway, so yeah, here's my new one and here's my old one. Anyway, moving along, I got a bathing suit. Um, the brand I can see that they scratch out is Massimo, which is a Target brand. I got this in a size large. I usually do extra larges in bathing suits for the most part, but it adjusts on the side. So I think I should be all right. Then, oh, and this one was $7.99. All of their bathing suits are together. You don't have to worry about uh, sizing and all that. They're always clamped together, and all of their bathing suits are $7.99 or $9.99. Then I showed y'all these, it's just some cute little sandals. They are $8.99. These, some more cute little sandals, $6.99. I don't, I, the reason I'm, I'm not sure about these, because usually when I wear tan, I wear gold. So tan and silver is just kind of different for me. Y'all, my kids are acting nuts right now. Okay, and then next, here's the clothing. So I bought this little short set. Y'all know I do not wear shorts. I don't wear shorts, y'all, but I said I was gonna try to get into shorts, but this just gave me Versace vibes. I don't know why. It's a lot going on, but it gave me Versace vibes, and it's so cute. It comes with like a little crop top. 
the shorts. This was $10.99. I thought this would be cute for like vacation or something. So we shall see. It'll, it might be going back. Then this is just a little gray two-piece set. Does it have a hole in it? I don't know what that is. Anyway, this, this set was $7.99. So it comes with the leggings and the top. I think this one might be see-through. It kind of seemed see-through in the store, but um, I won't know until I try it on. But $7.99, and y'all know I love gray. So I thought that was a good deal. Go upstairs and shut up! I told you I'm recording! All right, this is the next one. This is like a light colored olive set. Comes with leggings, the little top. This one was $16.99, which is weird because that's just overpriced for DDs if you ask me. But I like the color, I thought it was cute. Y'all know I love tans and neutrals and all that. Then this one, uh, it's the same as that blue one that I got over there I showed y'all, but it's just a little leggings little soft super stretchy leggings and then the little crop top 9.99 so yeah i'm gonna be trying all this stuff on uh off camera and i'll let y'all know what what didn't work out well what's going back i'm really hoping this fits because bathing suits are, to me are like overpriced expensive and to get one for 7.99 i'm hoping that this is cute y'all know i lied as always, here goes the first outfit. We about to do a little mini haul. <laughs> $9.99, blue set. Super cute. Love this. Fits good. High-waisted. It has little, um, what are they called? Little cuppy things on the inside that I don't like. I'll probably take out. But uh, for $9.99, baby, this is cute. I have it in tan over there, so I don't think I'm going to try the tan one on. I'm just going to say that. No, 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 I'm lying. Because really Dee played me about a month ago with, yes, yeah, so I do need to try it on. It but anyway, this is the first one. Mm -hmm. $10. All right, the tan one fits good, but you can see the thing. I hate these. That is so ugly. Like, what is that for? To cover up your nipples or to give you some more extra fullness at the top? Like, I don't understand what that's for. But anyway. Super cute, love this. Excuse the camel toe, y'all know, uh, fat pussy gang, can't help that. But um, yeah, $9.99, baby. You know, I'm gonna wear this with a crop denim jacket. Okay, this one don't fit. <laughs> I should've known, it's a size small. A medium would've fit good, but it's a size small, and this is as high as I can pull it up. Like, so it look weird in the crotch, then it just comes to a weird area. Yeah. And then it's like smashing the boobs, so I... Yeah, this one's too small. $16.99, I need that back. All right, this one fits, but it's going back. It's just way too thin. You can just see... You can just see way too much. You can see my tattoos through the fabric. Every crevice, every everything. So, I mean, it's cute, but it just needs to be double lined or something. It was only $7.99. I should've known. Need my $7.99. Be Zach. This is so cute. This is such like a cute airport outfit. This is the size large. The medium didn't fit how I wanted it to fit. So the size large is perfect. Look at this. Baby, do you see that? <laughs> it is extremely high-waisted. So it doesn't even look like the jacket is cropped or anything. But I'm cool with that. I love this. I lo And it's super long too. Twenty-two dollars. Yeah. Hey boo. They may, I'm you, so of all the clothing pieces, these are the only three that I'm keeping that fit properly. Baby, this baby Sue said, "Bitch, where are you trying to do? Why? How? When? Where? Never." This baby suit, baby, looked like a piece of girl. I'm about to say dental floss. It ain't even look like no dental floss. It just was a whole mess. This one couldn't get up my hips. <laughs> this one's the medium I'm keeping the large over there this one fit it was just way too thin this one fit it just was kind of tight I just wouldn't it, I wasn't in love with it and it was kind of low rise it was very low rise let me say that so those are all going back keep it those three so now I'm about to scan my receipts on Fetch Rewards to get my points 
All you have to do, guys, is scan any receipt. It doesn't matter where it is from. No, this is not sponsored, but because I have these four receipts, <laughs> I might as well show you guys on camera. Um, with Fetch Rewards, you scan any receipt from anywhere, the doctor's office, Walgreens, DD's discount, a restaurant, doesn't matter. You get points, you convert those points into gift cards. And yeah, it's easy. You get the most points when you shop at the grocery store though. So that's just FYI. You literally get your receipt. You take a picture of it. Everything should turn green on the side here. Then you hit submit. And bam, 25 bonus points. So collect points. Redeem for gift cards. It is free, free, free. You guys want to get a free $2 on this app. You sign up with my code that will be across the screen. And it's always in the description box. Fetch Rewards is free. It's the easiest thing you can do because we shop every day and you just scan every receipt. And it's also good for like tax purposes because it keeps a, a picture log of all of your receipts. So yay. <laughs> Y'all out with the old, in with the new. They just they did a couple of upgrades because now this says what 430 degrees, and then on this old one that I got like eight years ago, it just says hot. It just says like low, medium, high, extra hot. <laughs> but I mean, for the most part, they literally they didn't change anything up. looks the same i am so excited y'all don't understand i have had this for so long i don't even think i'm gonna throw this away this has lasted me so long that i'm scared that if i throw this away this one's not gonna be as good and i'm gonna be wishing that i still had this one so yeah girl didi's Dee pay 9.99 for this this one i believe i got at tj maxx all those years ago and i think i, I want to say i paid maybe like 16.99 maybe $24.99 tops so it was still pretty cheap but I mean $9.99 you can't beat that all right y'all I have not eaten anything today at all it is 4 30 and I haven't had anything except for some coffee and some water oh and then like two of those little wafers really ain't even two it was just two pieces but anyway this is what I'm about to eat from Lay snap kitchen so i'm about to heat this up really quick eat it's not a lot of food so i'm probably i'll, I'll be hungry again by nine o'clock so but um yeah i'm starting to get like hunger headaches like my stomach is feel like it's touching my back so Child.